Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is an addition, an entry onto the dry snuff, the nasal snuff playlist. So we will be looking at this Gold Apper or Gold Dapper. It's one of those words or two words that they've combined into one and the first words last letter and the second words first letter are the same letter so I'm not quite sure so it's G O L dapper or G O L D apper one or the other I'm not German so I'm not really sure anyway this is from Rosinski, okay, and they make artisan snuffs. They're always in this packaging. It's a refill pack, as in at one time maybe they made snuff tins or snuff boxes and these are refills for them, or they feel that their base has their own snuff boxes, etc. And that base could very well have that. This is a upper price product. So what you're looking at is basically sort of a cardboard sachet, okay? It's 10 grams, although to tell you the truth, this one feels like there's an awful lot. It, it, it feels like, wow, if this is 10 grams, 10 grams is more than I realize. Um, this is only the second product from them that I have reviewed. The first one, it's a ways back. It's a ways back on this playlist. At the end of this video, I will do the last dry snuff review linked in a pop-up. I will do this playlist in a pop-up and then my subscribe deal. But the playlist is pretty long by this point. I think we're into the 60s. So check that and you'll see another picture of something that looks like this. So... It's real simple packaging. They, they put the the blend on a yellow sticker above the German warning label. And then on the back, another German warning label. And they have their website and manufacturing date. So I'm going to go real close in for the website and the manufacturing date. It's looking like November of 2020 it was manufactured and it is 10 grams. Now, it does strike me as a little bit odd them putting 10 grams on a pouch that is completely full. And I say that because if the pouch is completely full and this is 10 grams, then really, well, I guess they could make one that had five on there, but they couldn't make anything larger. So they have two tabs, as you can see there, all right? And there is like a small Ziploc on these bags, which is good because I do not really have a snuff box except for my great-grandfather's, which I don't actually use. Uh, that, if you want to see that, is in the Tools of the Trade playlist, and it was filmed quite a while ago too. So I don't tear these off because I can't afford to have anything go wrong with this. When I said upper tier price, it's about, uh, I want to say about $7.20-ish cents. $7.19 at MrSnuff.com. Again, I have no affiliation with MrSnuff.com. It's just they have all the European and Indian stuff under one roof, all the brands, and that's what I go to for all the European and Indian stuff. With the exception of the American dry snuffs, I do source them locally or have one of my sourcing guys get them for me. So I'm going to cut this off. Now, I did hear about this, which is the reason why I bought it. And chocolate is being mentioned, medium nicotine, and it was put mentioned by reviewers that it's well oiled now when they say that i take that as literally this is although not a schmauzler possibly using paraffin oil to hydrate it so you do not want to put this in a pipe bowl at all 
Uh, as for people that asked about me referencing powdering pipe bowls, I will be covering that at some time in the near future. I think I replied back to one or two of you. If there was anybody else that I missed, I will do a video on that a little bit down the road here, not too far away. So did I... I didn't cut it. I went too, too long on it. I need to cut it again. The reason I'm going long on this is I have this feeling that there may be product above that Ziploc. Uh, I was, I've been messing with this thing off and on for a day or so now. So the Ziploc is like right here. All right. But their tab mark is off. Up, oh, and there is stuff above the Ziploc. Crap. Ah, okay, well, I guess it's a good thing I had that paper towel down. Wow, there's a lot above the Ziploc, and I don't know if you can, ah, it's collapsing. It, it was like a fin up in the middle of the packaging. Wow, uh, okay, snuff spoon into play here. Holy cow, okay, snuff spoon is failing Okay, so I'm cleaning out the Ziploc. Now, it was a sealed package. That top part that I cut off was a, a, a sealed seam, sort of like the sides and bottom. So it's no problem with the product. The product is very, very dark. And very, very chocolate. Not... <laughs> I almost exhaled right into that thing. I think it's dark chocolate, actually. It's chocolate. It's very malt-like and dark. And it's colored dark, too. It's going to be hard to show this because... <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to do this, to tell you the truth. I think I had this problem on the other review, too. I mean, it is... Crap. That's not working. Okay. Yep, this is one of these operations. Those operations. And now that I'm blinding myself, it is super dark stuff. And now I'm not going to be able to get my light back, and that was pointless anyway, so... There was a time in the past where I would have stopped this video and done it over. And I am sorry. But now, and that time in the past, are two different times, and they shall never meet. So we are proceeding. I will try to get some of this out on my hand. Man, I'm working for this tonight. <laughs> the, the, I'm working real hard on the video that brings in no money. So I'm going to try. Wow, this stuff is like dark, dark. It's darker in person. It looks medium to fine grind. It's well hydrated with whatever they're using. It's got a really, really dark chocolate maltish smell to it. It smells good. It's just not the chocolate I was expecting. It's not like a candy sweet chocolate, although it, it's nothing saying that it's not sweet either. It, it's very, very interesting. So that's what it's looking like. Let me see if I can do this Ziploc now. This is why I like the tins better. I mean, I, I get the whole packaging for this and the reasoning behind it, but review wise, it's tough. It, it is tough. It just looks really, really good. I got a ridiculous amount out there for my usage, but I'm going to do it, and hopefully it will be kind to me. But in preparation, now that we're at practically the 10-minute mark, I'm going to get this paper towel ready. <laughs> okay, so... Wow, it's really soft going up. It's heavy.
there is some nicotine. It, I mean, it's nothing that I'm registering as, oh my God, this is crazy. It's really heavy though. I can feel it wanting to come down. So I'm upshifting light inhales to get it up a little higher. Wow, I'm not sneezing at all. My nose is a little sort of itching on this side, but I don't think it has anything to do with the snuff. Wow, this is like, it's not menthol. There's no mentholation whatsoever. I think this might be the first non-mentholated product I've ever done that didn't make me sneeze. I'm not even going to have to pause this, which is amazing. Out of 60-some reviews, there's not too many where I don't have to pause it due to sneezing. Okay, so the scent is exactly as it smelled out of the packaging, only now it's a little bit more prominent because it's actually in my nose. Uh, my nostrils itching, but I don't think it has anything to do with this. I think I'm just... It hasn't gone up too far. There's no drip. It does feel a little bit heavy, and I think that's what's bothering my nose. I think it, it's it's trying to come back out, basically, and I, I keep having to upshift, and I'm moving it up and down. All right, so it's got a, a, a medium nicotine kick. Now, with this stuff, for people that don't know, it's not like snooze. It's not going to keep building, building, building. I don't know how many times I've said this now. It hits you all at once. So don't be like, oh, my God, we're, whoa, 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 whoa. It'll, you know, it'll hit you all at once and then recede. So with this, it's not crazy by any means. But I do feel it. There, there is something there. So I'm going to say it's about medium nicotine. The moisture level or hydration level of it and the cut are like dead on perfect for me. Uh, and thus, I didn't have an issue with sneezing or whatnot. It is heavy. It's heavy. It wants to come back out. It wants to sort of just fall out. So you got to upshift a little bit. The scent is... It's definitely like a malt chocolate thing going on, but it's like a dark chocolate, which is interesting because it's a very dark scent, which is probably going along with the tobacco they use. The tobacco used in this, I did actually find out. Now, a lot of the time they have like odd tobaccos that we do not find in North America. This one though, we, we do have quite a bit of here. They view, now, I don't know if it, the tobacco is probably not from here, but the um, strain of it we have here. What's being used in this is double fermented burley. And that's it. All right. So, burley has nutty tones to it. And I think that double fermented is playing well with whatever malt chocolate essence they've used. This is good stuff. Uh, this is re this is really good. I'm really surprised. Now, the the other product that I did of them, and I can't remember the name off the hand because it's German products and the names don't make much sense, like correlation wise. Uh, but that was an interesting and good product too. That was a cottage industry type product that was originally done by cottagers in East Germany, and it was green. So look for the still shot of something that looks like this. Um, these are artisan, small artisan snuffs. Unlike the Sir Walter Scott, you do not need refrigeration with these. Okay. I do jar keep them until they go out to whoever they're going to. So the company doesn't have anything about, I, I've looked at the English language version of their website. And again, the website is Right at the top there. So pause that if need be. Um, and I've checked over time. The last product, nothing seemed to go. The Sir Walter Scotts, when they say refrigerate that after opening, take that as literal. 
refrigerate that. I, I know for fact, uh, from my own experience, that if you don't, you're not going to be happy the next time you open up that tin. Um, so this, this is good. This, this is good stuff. And, you know, the, the it, it is high quality, though, and the, it is reflected in the price. That's the only thing. That said, their 10 grams seems like an awful lot. I mean, this thing is pretty, that's not the packaging. It's actually at that much. Somebody that was new to nasal snuff, this would be lasting you quite a while. Uh, so at $7, that's, I mean, that's what the small tins of American scotches cost in tobacco shops around me. They cost about seven twenty-five. dollars all right? This is going to be a lot easier to take, although because of the oil, I would not put it in my mouth and dip it. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to take nasally. It's not as much as the American products, but it's comparable price-wise. MrSnuff.com, again, I have no affiliation, although if you check out Mississippi Rev's reviews, I believe he has discount codes in his description sent, uh, description sections. So this has been the review of Rasinki's Gold Dapper. It is, it's pretty good stuff. Um, I, the, the, the quality of these is way up there and the ease of taking this for something that's not mentholated is excellent. Excellent. I, I can't say enough about that part. I'm really, really surprised. Um, the only issue you'll have is that it will want to come back down. It, 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 the, the product itself is heavy. And that's probably because they've used the oil. So, that all said, I thank those that responded to my fundraiser um, video from last night. All right. I believe now I am within range. I will obviously put up the rest. I, I believe now, even if nobody else responded, uh, it's put me within reach of the chronograph. So, we'll be good on that, which is excellent. I was, I was sort of... I don't want to say worried, but I, I, I was anxious about that, being able to get, get that for those reviews. Uh, and what else? What else? There's a Dad's Root Beer video up last night. It is monetized. People watching the monetized content is important. There is a Nerf Internals video coming tomorrow, or technically it's 21 in the morning, later today. And that will be going up early. Because I have to record that early and I might as well upload it right after I record it. So that will be coming shortly in a matter of hours. I do hope you all are well. I can't believe I didn't use this paper towel. Well, I sort of did because I spilt some on it. So I still have lost paper towel in this video. I've lost more rolls of paper towels doing this channel. It's, it's almost comical. Um, I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.